Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and today I have a layout for Tracy Reed Designs and this is the new Moonlight collection. So I have gone ahead and cut several, or not cut, but printed several pattern papers, mostly in the sort of teals and purple and blue um, from the collection. And I also cut this cut file from my silhouette. It is just one from my Silhouette Studio um, software and so I cut this star stencil and then I have the blue with a sort of a black print. Um, it's like a plaid paper. I cut that in a larger sort of 12 by 12 size to back my cut file and so that's going to be behind that cut file. And then I have my two photos here that I'm just going to go ahead and cut down my pattern papers and I'm going to back my photos with this sort of mermaid tail um, kind of pattern paper and then I'm going to take the purple and this teal blue and I'm just going to cut chunks. Um, so I want to say they're about a little bit, maybe one's like a five by six, something like that, or about a five by five and a half, give or take. I kind of randomly just cut um, slices of these two colors and I'm going to layer them up here behind my photos. So I just want to have some of these uh, colored pattern paper behind my photos and I do cut them down a little bit off camera before I glue all of this down but I'm going to lay um, basically everything down on the layout and then um, go ahead and glue it down. So those do, those pattern papers do get cut down just ever so slightly. They were a little large. Like I said, I kind of just randomly cut sizes. I wasn't really um, thinking how large or big I wanted them. And so um, I do cut them down. So I'm going to have my photos sort of angled ever so slightly. And then I have my title here, The Night. And then the word swim, both of these are from the digital collection. So I created my title, the night was all one um, from the digital collection. So it was all together and then swim uh, came from the alphabet set. So I just went ahead and sized them to the size I wanted and printed them and then fussy cut those. And then once I have the, the title in place, I am basically just going to take all of the florals. Now I want to say all of the florals that I'm using on this page, I believe are from the digital kit. Um, I did print the other florals um, from the sticker sheet, but I went ahead and used just the ones from the digital kit. So I think the majority, actually, I think this entire layout is actually using the digital kit. I don't think I ended up using anything, even these stars, these cork stars, um, these are from the digital kit as well. So yeah, everything in this one is actually from that digital kit. So as you can see, if you're a hybrid scrapbooker, um, even though this is a digital kit, um, and that's how it's created, you can certainly print all of these elements and create your pages using just the digital kit. There is plenty in it. And when you print it and use uh, it as a hybrid, you can make beautiful pages. I love these florals and um, all of the uh, stars and the cork in this. Um, I did go ahead when I put the florals down, I did sort of crinkle them up a little bit to give them a little bit of dimension. And there you see, I have gone ahead off camera and I've cut down those pattern papers, placed everything down, glued everything in place. And I did move that one cluster to sort of in between the two words. So now my clusters kind of form a very tight triangle, um, really keeping my photos in the center. And so to finish off the page, I am just coming in with some of these. There's these are like puffy little dots. I used those to dot the center of uh, most of the daisy type flowers. And then I have some enamel dots that I'm going to place in the centers of the other florals that are in my clusters. And so that's what I like to do with these digital prints where I am cutting my own embellishments and they are all paper. I like to add these enamel dots or something to the centers to just add a bit of texture, a bit of interest and a bit of dimension so it's not um, just a flat piece of paper. Uh, I do like that, especially when I'm working with these digital kits. 
and like I said, I did sort of crinkle up those florals and I popped some of them up. The titles and, or actually the whole, uh, two photos and the titles all of that is actually popped up as well so I did give it some dimension with some fun foam um, off camera when I glued everything down so basically all I did was once I put the centers on those florals I did go ahead and just add a few more enamel dots just in amongst all of the stars just in not even groups of three but I just had some extra ones left over so I went to get them used up and I had these blue stars they're kind of like rhinestone stars. I thought I was going to dot them around more, but I ended up just putting them in the center of three of the stars um, that are on the cork stars. And so with that, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this page. Here are the still photos. And don't forget to check Tracy's blog to see lots of inspiration. There'll be other design team members with, uh, I think, videos out showing this new collection. And so with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. And heads up, there is a YouTube and a uh, Instagram hop happening this weekend for this new collection as well. So grab it while it's on sale. And with that, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.